Agnes here. About to disturb my cousin as I go on a photo video shoot today. Thought I'd bring you guys along. This little lot, lock it on the store. Home. Say hello. Hello. What is that? Is your phone on here? Yeah. <laughs> Just using it. You ready? No. No, you no, I'm not ready. Yeah, give me a sec. Alright, you're getting your code. Cool. So keys. Down we go. Ready? Dang, it's bright out here. Cars over there. Just, I, I think I, we should I do find this. It's funny that you talk so much about the uh, the Mark IV. Anyway, uh, Magnus here. Today we're gonna set up and do a test when it comes to using pretty much autofocus while recording yourself. Autofocus is easier, especially when you're doing this type of uh, vlog type of setup. But I have my cousin here. His name's Manny. Say hi. Yeah, he said hi. But his style is that he prefers manual focus when doing these type of vlogs versus autofocus. In my last video, there was a lot of debate when it came to professionals using manual focus versus autofocus and that real pros don't use autofocus. Well, this is not that type of professional shoot. Again, this is just a vlog. But this is just one example of where autofocus definitely, in my opinion, is something that I'd recommend using versus anything else. Now, autofocus, manual focus, here we go. I don't know if I'm going to change his opinion or whatever he's doing, but we're going to try it out. Let's get this thing going. This is going to be a full 15 minute thing. You want me to record my opinion on something? I worked on something that's going to work out great. It's, so it's going to be 4K. Okay. I mean, that's a lot more detail that people probably don't want to see of me, but whatever. Manual, right? Manual focus. This is on, this is off. First we're going to set up my settings. White balance, ISO, uh, HDMI in, battery. This battery, what kind of batteries it take? Can it? Right? Yeah. Because this is becoming a very boring video, me trying to set this up. Now what you see here, in this particular part of the video, is us setting up the camera settings for both what the look that he wanted to accomplish in his shoot and testing the actual focus. Right now he's checking the lens, but he's also then checking the actual screen, that little video that he's using to make sure that he's in focus and then adjusts it back and forth until he gets it just right. That took several tries, but let's see how it turned out when he's done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Magnus Show. What the? The Stop. Magnus Show? Stop copyright infringement. No, this is, this is going to go on your channel, right? Yeah. Welcome to the Magnus Show. Uh, my name is Manny. Do this again. What's up, everybody? I'm here to tell you about stuff. I'm not standing in the middle. Yeah, this is the middle. Put the tape in the wrong spot. I'm gonna do it all in one take, bro. I'm a one take type of guy. Let's do this again. If I can see this, if I had like, this paper hanging up. All right, here we go again. If you're working. Uh... Anyway, let's continue, my friends, for the yada yada nonsense that I'm talking about that he has to edit. He's gonna have to piece this all together and it's gonna make no sense. And I'm pretty sure all this stuff is gonna get cut anyway because the only thing it's gonna show is like a few seconds, the difference between manual and autofocus, and that's about it. But now when a close up of his manual focus shot, looking deeply into his eyes, as you see here, we're trying to see if how much in focus he is when you're actually zoomed all the way in. And you can tell by his movements that sometimes he's in focus and sometimes he's out of focus depending on how much he moves within his focal plane. 
Now this is not something that you can easily control if you're doing a one-man shoot where you're not only controlling the camera but also you're recording the video. So it was a bit of a challenge. But let's see what happens when he switches to auto. Yeah. Lady, yeah, yeah. Look at the footage, baby. Look at the footage. All right. The whole point of that was actually because I am a person who loves manual focus, doesn't really like autofocus. When it comes to multiple subjects on frame and in frame rather, as opposed to just one subject like me. But I'm saying in general for everything, I would use manual focus. The reason being is because I have control over everything that I do. Speaking of control over everything, if you look at this autofocus shot, the camera is taking full control of the focal settings in, his, in this shot. So, as you can see, his eyes are always in focus. Now, take, let's take this a step further. Let's compare a still frame from the autofocus, which is on the left, and the manual focus on the right. And it's pretty easy and plain to see that the autofocus did a lot better job of keeping his eye in focus during most of the shoot. Where he had fast moments, where he was moving around the frame a lot, that was a challenge, but for the most part, he was in focus. Now in this footage, we're going to look at him as he reviews both the auto and manual focus shots and give his summation. Make sure that you're in focus for everything you're doing and that the picture quality is good. That's about it. But when it comes to other things where it's not a blog and you're not just focusing on yourself, then that's when it actually becomes a thing. If you're recording yourself in a situation like this where you set up the camera and it's pointing at you and no one gives a rat's ass how you're setting it up or if, it, if it's an autofocus or manual focus, no one really cares. But either way, you get the point. And at this point, I hope we all get the point. Hit that like, share the video, subscribe, and thank you. It really means a lot. And of course, you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and that's Manny, and we're out.